All right, so what we're going to be doing here is uh, casting one of the water clear wings. I've got things kind of set up. Um, this is pre-measured with the A. I've got the B. I've got to pour the B into the A to get a, to a total of about 225 grams is a safe number for uh, having enough material to fill this wing. A little bit of extra. Um, I've got a couple new things here. I have historically been filling from one of the side vents. This one over here and trying to pass it this way, but I was having a little, you know, it's a few issues, and this goes with any mold, you have to kind of learn what's going to work. So I'm actually going to try something a little different, which I never really thought I was going to do, but I'm actually going to fill from this port here. The reason is it's got a much bigger opening in it, it's going to let the material flow in. The other thing I'm going to have to do as uh, do a possibility, I've got uh, this plug and this hose hooked up to my small air compressor, Actually, it's a vacuum pump, but I've got the hose hooked up to the, uh, the outlet, so it's actually blowing a little bit of air. But it's very, very light. It's low CFM, and so I have this plug. I actually have a little piece of tape over here to uh, diffuse it. I don't want the air blowing directly into the liquid when I take this fill nozzle, which I have here as my funnel, and apply a little bit of pressure. So I am going to get this thing going here. We'll see how it goes. Now, <clears throat> wear my apron, safety glasses, and uh, basically because I am going to be working with a little bit of pressure, you know, if a little bit of material gets squirted out here or there, I don't want to be wearing it anywhere on me or in my eyes. So always using caution. <clears throat> so, okay. So I'm going to be, need, be needing roughly 100, 104 grams of the B side, uh, based on the 100 to 85 ratio. Okay, so basically, once again, this is almost like a uh, squeeze bottle. It's a four ounce squeeze bottle. I'm going to mix, I'm going to pour, and I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to be pulling vacuum, nothing like that. Okay, so. I'm also using a, uh, a little bit of a quicker work time material on the B side than my original. I didn't show the original cast that I did because it didn't turn out. I ran out of a little bit of work time and I just didn't have things set up right. So it was kind of a short shot. Okay, there So because this work time is pretty quick, I don't have to do I don't have time to do my uh, proper double mix. This is really just kind of another experiment. I'm not going for a perfect air-free part. I'm going for figuring out how this mold fills to do it and do it efficiently. I'm just getting ready because I gotta plug in my presser over here. Material. 
Okay, we got some material coming in on this side. I'll kind of plug this a little bit. See it flowing, flowing good. I see it starting to come out this vent over here. There she is. All right, that looks pretty good. night and day. It's, it's, it's almost like using a syringe to forcefully inject the material in there. And uh, because my table's tilted a little bit, I'm going to prop this end up a little bit. There we go. Level it a lot. Level it off a little bit. Um, so I've got a decent amount of material coming out here. I've just got barely a little bit of material here, but this, this particular uh, vent is, you know, I mean, it's pretty wide. You might have seen it before. So there's plenty of makeup material in there if it decides to shrink. So, what I'm going to do very carefully is I actually want to save this bottle. This might make a little bit of a mess, but I'll do the best I can here. I'm going to take this off. here. All right, there we go. Awesome. Okay. This turned out pretty good. And like I was saying before, um, I kind of rushed through it, but basically instead of about a 15 minute pot life material on this, I am using a five minute hot life material. And that's five minutes in a hundred gram mass. That's about three ounces. So looks like I got plenty of material here, here, and down here. So this is good news. I can see the viscosity of this starting to go up a little bit, which means it's getting, you know, close to its gel time. But look, I had plenty of time, plenty of uh, time to get the material in there. If I were planning to mix and uh, improperly degas, uh, it probably would have been on the very verge. So, but the, the thing of it is, is that the faster work time material cures better in a thinner section. And for right now, because I don't have a hot box set up or anything to help expedite the cure, because it is in a thin section. I wanted to see what this faster material would do, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. So, long story short, uh, on this one I did about a five minute work time material, and we shot it in, we had just enough time. There's going to be bubbles in it, that's alright, uh, don't care, I have a tail that has bubbles in it, it'll match that up. You know, if we were doing this and we wanted a perfectly crystal clear part, we would mix the material, we put it in vacuum chamber, degas it, pull all the air bubbles out, Pour it like you saw it, and uh, you could either do it like that, or you could also do a uh, uh, put into a pressure tank at like 40 to 50 psi. That would take care of any incidental bubbles. All right. So that's it for now. We'll see what happens on demold. I'm going to leave it in the mold for about a day and a half.